Good afternoon to you. I'm Danilo Evangelista, and welcome to our Tropical Weather Outlook for today, July 15th, 2024. Let's start off with the National Hurricane Center homepage for the first time um, in a while, and it's been the case for the last several days. We're looking at nothing of concern in the Atlantic. Over the next week, things are quiet, so good, especially after the activity we've seen since the beginning of the month. Um, but in the Eastern Pacific, though, there is an area of interest, although the good part about it is that it is far away from any coastline. Um, and it's a small area that we're watching that has the potential that it could become a tropical system. Um, but once again, it's going to remain well off um, the Mexican coastline. It's going to be well far out in the Eastern Pacific, and there, there really won't be much any of any threat to life and human beings. So that is good. And then after that, there's really not much else um, in terms of interests for the tropics. Taking a satellite look of the Atlantic, you could see um, why it is why we're not really watching anything right now in the Atlantic. It is pretty quiet. There are a few tropical waves in the deep tropics. You can see one approaching the islands. Um, and then you could also see there's a front in the northwestern Atlantic, and there's also some shower activity along the Gulf Coast. Looks like there's a little low pressure that seems like it's southeast of Bermuda, though nothing much popping up there. Um, but the biggest thing that I think you could point out is look to the north coming off of Africa, lots of dust, lots of very dry air in the Atlantic, and this is what's going to help keep things quiet for at least the next several days and for and probably the next week or so um, as we head into the rest of the month of July. Although things could start to get a little bit more favorable as we head towards the end of the month. Um, but as of right now, there's lots of Saharan air out there. And we know Saharan air is dry air that really chokes off development of tropical systems. But it is also typical of this time of the hurricane season. Um, so it is not a surprise that we're seeing lots of Saharan air right now, but for the meantime, it's going to keep things nice and quiet. Um, and if we take a look at the 850 millibar vorticity, you could see that there is nothing too much that is sticking out. Obviously, we have our waves of energy from our tropical waves down in the deep tropics, and then there's some pieces of energy in the mid-latitudes, but nothing is consolidating. We're not seeing any major area of low pressure that is trying to spin up and close off and become a tropical system. So um, once again, nothing of, con of immediate threat, although you can see in the Eastern Pacific, there is this area of vorticity and that is associated with our um, area that we have in the Eastern Pacific. Um, but other than that, there's nothing much else to go over. Um, let's take a look at the sea surface temperature anomalies though. Um, even if there's not anything happening right now, this is certainly an interesting topic for the rest of the hurricane season. Um, even after Burrow, the Atlantic continues to remain extremely warm all throughout the MDR and into the Caribbean. Um, so there's definitely lots of heat in the ocean for more activity to occur, especially as we head into the peak of the hurricane season. Um, and the, the Atlantic in general is just really on fire oceanically. There's just lots of energy throughout the entire ocean. Yeah, sure, we have a small patch off of the northwestern coast of Africa, although this is a lot more um, Saharan air induced rather than what is actually happening. As I said before, and I think I said this earlier on in the season, the models do tend to be very sensitive um, when it comes to Saharan air because a lot of these satellite, a lot of these maps with sea surface temperature anomalies do kind of come from satellite-driven products, um, and they do tend to be very sensitive about Saharan air, which does impact these maps just a slight bit. But in general, even with that, the Atlantic is still very warm. And the Eastern Pacific as well is also pretty warm too, although we do have um, neutral incoming. Uh, we don't have an El Nino out there, which, as I said before, will help set the stage for a very active rest of the hurricane season to come, especially as we get towards the peak um, and starting next month, which we'll go over at a later date. Um, but the Atlantic in general is just really warm. And I'll show you this by this tweet by Brian McNulty that he tweeted several days ago, but I think it is still very relevant today. Um, he mentions the upper ocean heat content in the MDR. And he says, looks like the barrel dip has been erased already, um, meaning the amount of heat that was taken out 
five barrel, um, you could see we've not really gotten and any energy that has been taken out by barrel has already been restored in the MDR, um, meaning that there's still lots of up erosion heat heat content across the entire main development region. And that is certainly of big concern once again as we head towards the peak. And you can just see it once again in the sea surface temperature anomalies widespread throughout the MDR and the Caribbean. Certainly no sign of hurricane barrel sort of imprint. It's wa it's cold water wake. Definitely didn't have much of it. And we have the rest of the peak of the hurricane season to go. And that definitely means more energy will probably build up in this area rather than be erased by barrel, which is something very, very concerning um, for the hurricane season ahead. But obviously, as I mentioned before, um, Saharan air is going to keep a, a little bit of a lid on it right now because, um, once again, Saharan air is a big source of dry air that comes off the continent of Africa. Um, and it's very typical this time of year, but you can see on this map Saharan air right now widespread throughout the entire MDR. And until we see this lift north and until we see some of this dusty air kind of clear away, we're not really going to get too much in the way of development to occur, especially in the deep tropical Atlantic. We could still something we could still get something that, you know, sometimes pops up in the general Western Atlantic, like the Gulf or even off the East Coast, which we've seen a lot in recent years. That could still possibly happen. And I'm sure that probably within the next few weeks we'll get at least one of those kind of pop up systems. But in terms of deep tropical development, really does not look like there will be any sign of that, at least um, for the next week. So those in the Windward Islands don't have to watch for any tropical threats right now. Although, once again, even with these tropical waves that don't develop, they do tend to bring gu gusty conditions and heavy rainfall um, to the um, Lesser Antilles, regardless of the, as if they're tropical cyclones or not. So that'll be something that obviously you guys have to keep in mind. Um, but once again, just take a look at the GFS. Well, we're going to look at the Eastern Pacific in just a moment, but the Atlantic for right now, let's run the GFS out for the next week. You can see nothing much happens. Have a huge um, Bermuda high sitting out over the Atlantic. This is going to help keep the trades nice and strong. Probably going to see a little bit more Saharan air um, kind of be advected out into the Atlantic. And you can see over the next week, nothing much happens at all. And then we, as we stop it at the seven day time frame, looks like a little bit of energy, at least on this run that the GFS has that develops south of Florida. And then if we go further than that, which we're not going to, the GFS does actually go on to make this try to develop into a quick spin up in the Gulf. But this is seven days out and I would take it with a grain of salt. But generally over the next week or so, things remain quiet, not looking at much um, in terms of development in the Atlantic. In the Eastern Pacific, let's take a look at that since there is an area of interest there. Um, the GFS, this is the Eastern Pacific area, and kind of take it out over the next several days. You can see the GFS does try to develop it some. Um, you can see there is some sort of concentration that occurs, but it obviously does not become anything formidable. Um, and obviously it stays well off away from any coastline, especially um, the Mexican coastline, and they'll probably say a weak system as well. So I would imagine any sort of threats with rip currents or you know swells will probably will probably be minimal to none. Um, so there's that, and then we also have in the seven day time frame looks like the GFS does try to spin something up in the Eastern Pacific there as well. Um, they haven't had much activity this year, so maybe that might be something we need to watch as well as with what this current model thing in the GFS is for right now. But other than that, Tropic's looking nice and quiet, at least for the next week. Certainly a much needed um, break, um, given what we had with Barrow and all of that um, earlier this earlier in the month. And now we're getting our peace and quiet to hopefully recover. Very much needed. And it looks like, once again, that'll probably last for at least the next week into the foreseeable future. Although things can change, and we've, we've especially known by now and during hurricane season, especially as we get towards the peak, things can and often do change very quickly, sometimes just within a week. So definitely keep an eye on the tropics. And I'm sure from this point on, as we get in towards the next month, it'll definitely start to get a lot more busy. 
with that being said though i'm gonna end it off for here today nothing much to go over once again um if you like what you saw today i would really appreciate it. if you like comment subscribe on the video share your thoughts below if you're new to my channel obviously i would recommend you sub to subscribe turn the notification bell so you could get any video that i upload to the second um that i upload it so you could get it the second that it's posted with that being said stay safe peace of and kindness to you all and we will talk again tomorrow